so. Mm. Change the Rough is an organization that was created to empower young people to lead the way to make impactful changes when it comes to gun violence. It was founded after 17 children were murdered in Parkland, Florida, in a mass school shooting. They use urban art and nonviolent creative confrontation to expose the disastrous effects of the mass shooting pandemic. Guns are currently the leading cause of death for children in the United States, according to the CDC. Since 1970, there have been 2,052 school shootings in the United States that have killed 661 people. Last year, there were 250 incidents reported of school shootings in the United States, which was a 120% increase from the previous year. I'm Ravana, and welcome back to Rebel HQ. Manuel Oliver founded Change the Ref when his son Joaquin was murdered in Parkland, Florida in a school shooting in 2018. What do you hope to accomplish in meeting with the president, meeting with the team at the White House? I keep fighting against this for the last four years. Um, this, for my family, it's already beyond Joaquin. Um, 150,000 people have died since our son was shot four times inside a school. Mm. So what have we learned from this experience? Probably nothing. I've been saying and preaching enough is enough. So what if I really act right now? Like whatever I have done hasn't been enough. And I've done a lot and you know it. Yeah. Um, but the message is not strong enough. So I'm, I'm sick of this and I need to do something. So I took a plane, came to DC and I decided that I wanted to talk to Biden because Biden promised me and my wife, Patricia, that he will know how to fix this, that he already did it and he will be able to do it again. So that promise, uh, I, I need to know what happened to it. But it's not just the parents who are taking action and demanding change. Groups of young people, survivors of school shootings themselves, are marching in the streets and organizing for gun control. Everyday shootings, everyday shootings. Are, everyday problems. are everyday problems. Thousands gathering in the nation's capital on Saturday demanding action on gun legislation following the recent string of deadly gun violence across the country. All Americans have a right to not be shot. A right to safety. Nowhere, nowhere in the Constitution is unrestricted access to weapons of war a guaranteed right. This June, Congress passed the first piece of gun control legislation in decades. It closed the boyfriend loopholes in domestic violence cases. It increases the scrutiny of background checks for gun purchasers between the ages of 18 and 21 and increases funding for youth mental health care programs. While gun researchers celebrated this legislation, they also acknowledged that when it comes to reducing school shootings and mass shootings, this piece of legislation will probably have very little impact. So organizations like Change the Rough will continue to protest with urban art pieces, and organizations like March for Our Lives will continue to organize and march in the streets and demand reform. So you see, I also call myself a Christian nationalist, and that's not a bad word. That's actually a good thing, right? It seems like Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene can barely pull off that line with a straight face. And to be sure, the crowd seems kind of confused, like, I know that's what we want, but are we allowed to say it out loud? There's two things that are going on here. One is the very real aim within the GOP to make the U.S. into a theocratic state controlled by their preferred religion, but also the way that grifters like Taylor Greene are taking advantage of those goals to gain attention, money, and fame. There's a growing movement among evangelical Christians to take control of the reins of government and implement the laws of the church as the laws of the nation. This ranges from the prohibition of abortion to the elimination of gay rights and many other aims. But more than that, it's an attempt to place their whole range of political ideology, including tax cuts for the rich and the destruction of the environment, onto a divine pedestal beyond reproach, which literally takes the shape of, if God didn't want the earth to burn, he wouldn't have put so much oil in the ground. It means that criticizing their choice of policy is criticizing God, making you a heretic which might be fine for some, but this really isn't about you, unfortunately. It's about circling the wagons around some pretty indefensible ideas that have no basis in fact or reality. But because successful seeming shouty person says it's okay, then it must be. But this isn't just MTG's personal belief. She's advocating that this is what the whole Republican Party stands for. 
Now, if the Republican Party becomes a party that actually does the, say, does the things we say we're about, then we are going to be a party for nationalism. Isn't that right? But then I think there's another element we need to have in, I'm a Christian, how many Christians do we have here? So you see, I also call myself a Christian nationalist, and that's not a bad word. That's actually a good thing, right? And there's nothing wrong with leading with your, in, with your faith, because we should lead with our faith. Because if we're doing that, then we're doing the right thing. It doesn't mean we're perfect, it just means we're doing the right thing. And I think that's what the Republican Party needs to be about. Republicans have been pushing this line for a long time. And when they're not wrapping themselves in the flag, wrapping themselves in the Bible worked pretty well for Reagan and the Bushes and many Democrats as well. But historically, Christian values have been a personal thing that just happened to coincide with the policies they set forth. Although interestingly, absent from these policies seem to be much in the way of feeding the hungry, taking care of the poor, or loving thy neighbor, but I digress. MTG has taken this a step further and once again said the quiet part out loud because she doesn't care if it's not strategic. She knows that this is what the base wants and she doesn't care about achieving policy aims. She's only interested in generating controversy and enriching herself.